So, as you can see from the video, the gear reduction test did not go 100% as planned. Uh, I will start off by saying this, it's a huge difference with the gear reduction. When I hit that hole the other day, I was first gear everywhere I went, uh, even on the shallow side. I was doing second and third gear this time, so huge difference. I have my buddy with me this time, so I decided to hang that left-hand side. I knew that was the deep side, but I figured, you know, hey, I got him with me so I can get pulled out if something happens. I'm not by myself again, so let's just go for it. It was going good. We hit a small spot. I went ahead and went down to second gear. I didn't want to push my luck. Uh, went a little further. We went about halfway, maybe a little over halfway, and it, it started to dive down and get up close to the handlebars. And I said, well, I at least want to make it all the way across this thing so I can say I did. So let me back up, go to the right-hand side, make it all the way across, and then on the way back, we'll hang this side, and we'll just go for it and flood this thing out. Uh, before I could get it in reverse, it died. It did start up one time died again. Uh, we pulled it out. I'd run the battery down trying to crank it up when it was flooded out. Hooked a jump box to it, started it up, and just decided to load it up and not push our luck. I do want to find uh, some something as close to peanut butter as I can find around here. I've got a buddy that his mom's got a field and we're fixing to get a ton of rain for like five days straight. We've got a chance every day, like 50, 60, 70 percent chances. And they've got a pond and when it when it rains a lot, they're their pond floods into the field and their field is like a really soft topsoil type stuff and it will be it gets real thick we used to take trucks out there all the time trucks cars go-karts side by sides whatever we had and it gets pretty as thick as what i know that i can find around here i don't know that i can find anything else in this area within just a few minute drive that i can hit that will get as thick as that does so the goal is we're going to bring that honda in Tomorrow, maybe tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, sometime or another, we're going to flush the motor. Uh, we're going to run some diesel through it. If you don't know, diesel is a really good cleaner. Uh, I don't do this just because I told you to do it, but uh, we used to flush all our vehicles and stuff with diesel. Uh, we'd run like a gallon of diesel through it. And every oil change, we'd run like a gallon of diesel through it uh, just to flush out any kind of junk that had built up in there. And I've always used it on foilers if I needed to flush a motor, uh, take a little bit of diesel, Throw in there, let it run for about 10 seconds. No more than like 10, 15 seconds. Turn it off and uh, drain it back out and just it'll flush all kind of junk out of there. So we're going to flush that motor tomorrow. Uh, I'll do my best to capture all that on video. Hopefully and pray this thing don't start smoking. It wasn't smoking when we loaded up. Uh, the oil's milky, but wasn't smoking. Uh, hopefully we caught it in time. We didn't run it long enough. And then maybe midweek we'll catch a break from the rain and we can go find a, a thick hole, something with some close to peanut butter as we can get something thick as thick as we can find it that's going to be the true test for this gear reduction something thick uh now i will say this the left hand side is way softer bottom than the right hand side i had to wade out there the water was about up to here and i had to wade out there to catch the chain uh, nobody on the buggy was brave enough to get out of the buggy and walk the chain to me so i had to jump off the back rack and walk out there grab the chain and get back to the foil and hook it up. Uh, I will say this about that back rack, it's a pretty strong back rack. I just hooked it to the top of the back rack and uh, they went to yanking and he was not going slow. So back, back racks are pretty strong on them things. Uh, at least our back rack is. Uh, it's all 3 16 plate with the H, uh, 10 gauge. So it's a hair over an eighth of an inch top plate. So pretty thick stuff. But my mouth's drying out. I'm getting dehydrated again. It's, it's getting pretty late. I don't know what time it is, but it's getting late. I'm going to go in and try to get this video edited. If you're watching this video and you're wanting to know about the install video, we do have the install video for that clutch uh, clutch kit. Man, getting way too late. I can't even think. Uh, we've got the install video for that gear reduction. Uh, I'm going to try to get it put together, but it's going to be a lot longer than this one. So I'm going to do that last. It might take me another day, an extra day to get that put up. So if you're watching this video and can't find it, just give me a few more hours and hopefully we'll have that posted. Uh, that's going to do it for this one. Hope and pray midweek or maybe like towards the end of next week i can get up with my buddy uh maybe he'll get rained out or something and we can meet up and we can go over there and try that thing out on something a little thicker this time uh but that's gonna do it uh i'm gonna go inside and grab something to drink maybe a snack or something so until next time